Hi guys, welcome to my vlog. I'm here in Changi International Airport Terminal 1. I'll be flying back to Cebu with Scoot Air. So it's my first time to fly with Scoot. My flight for today is 8.20 a.m. So right now it's still 5 a.m. Um, I need to check in my luggage so that afterwards I'll proceed to the departure area. I'll be taking videos throughout the flight and once I arrive in Cebu, I will give a feedback about my scoot experience. Guys, I'm on my way to the departure area, so I will share to you about the requirements from Singapore to Cebu. The only requirement from Singapore to Cebu is you just need a health declaration card. You can register your e-card through the website that is being posted in the travel requirements in the Singapore Airlines app or any other airline websites that fly from Singapore to Cebu. So, if you're fully vaccinated with one booster, you don't need to present a negative and negative COVID-19 test. Um, but it's also written there that if you're fully vaccinated without a booster, you need a COVID-19 test, a negative result of the COVID-19 test. Yeah, and a passport. That's it. And then, um, if you want to book a... Uh, round trip ticket from Manila or Cebu going to Singapore through Singapore Airlines you have to be careful because um, in my case I supposed to book uh, a trip from Singapore to Cebu through Singapore Airlines because that's my choice however after I booked my ticket what came out was good so how would you know if it's a Singapore Airlines flight or a Scoot flight? Um, you have to check the booking reference in the Singapore Airlines managed booking. And the flight number of Scoot Air, it starts with TR. While in Singapore Airlines, it's SQ. So if that flight is TR, that is operated by Scoot. So... If the flight number is SQ, that's operated by Singapore Airlines. Um, yeah, so be careful when you book a flight from Singapore from, of Singapore Airlines. And what else? Um, yeah, that's it. And also, by the way, um, once you check in a flight, a scoot flight. Always use the booking reference of Scoot. So, how would you know that? How would you find out the booking reference of Scoot? Now, uh, when you book, when you book the ticket through a Singapore Airlines flight, uh, it's written in the managed booking for uh, another booking reference for the Scoot flight. You can check that after you book the ticket because once you book the ticket, uh, you can manage the booking in the Singapore Airlines website then um, it's there uh, the booking reference for your scoot flight so always have a screenshot of the booking reference of the scoot flight because that's the one that you're going to type during or once you check in your baggage or the day when you depart for your flight yeah that's it so far uh yeah that's all Guys, I'm now on board Air Airbus A320 aircraft. 
so we're waiting for the other passengers to fully on board let's take time to read the safety features of this aircraft ladies and gentlemen and also, as the aircraft is being refueled please remain seated with your seat thank you so this is the safety information of scoot take time to read this at least for a few minutes so that in case of emergency you will know what to do then they also have their uh, bag in case if you want to vomit during the flight then this is their tray table you can use this if you have ordered an in-flight meal but the legroom of school aircraft is too short my god so we're expected to depart by 8 20 a.m and we're expected to arrive in Cebu by 12 noon so it would be more than a three hour flight close to a four hour flight yeah supposed to be um we supposed to take um, an airbus a321 aircraft but i don't know why did they deploy an airbus a320 but it's very tight their leg room is not that good yeah i i don't recommend much uh for those people who wants to fly here in singapore i don't recommend this aircraft or me i mean this airline unless if you're in a budget so if you want to fly from cebu to singapore much better if you fly with cebu pacific and singapore airlines thank you for choosing to fly with scoot a member of the value alliance on this aircraft please give your attention to the cabin crew at the front of the cabin fasten just about like this and tighten it to release lift this catch and now do use of your life vest your life vest is under your seat slip the life vest over your hip bring the waist strap around your waist connect the clip and pull the strap to tighten. Inflate your life vest only at the exit. To inflate, pull the red caps firmly downwards. To inflate it further, blow into these tubes. There's a light. And a whistle for attracting attention. Special life vests are available for children under the age of four. Should there be a loss of cabin pressure, oxygen masks will automatically drop from the compartments above. Remember to remove your face mask before donning the oxygen mask. Pull the mask down sharply to activate the flow of oxygen. Place the mask over your nose and mouth. Pull the elastic strap over your head and adjust the strap. Breathe normally. Be sure to free your own mask before helping others. Please note where the emergency exits are located on this aircraft. They are exits at the front, at the back, and at the overwing. During evacuation, do not take your belongings with you. If smoke is present, keep low and follow the lights to the nearest exit. The safety information card in your zip pocket contains additional information. Please read it carefully. Smoking and the use of electronic cigarettes are not allowed on school flights. Any attempt to smoke will set off the smoke alarm. You may continue to use your light with portable electronic devices such as smartphones and tablets in flight safe mode unless advised by the cabin crew. Headphones or earphones must not be worn during taxi, takeoff, and landing. All carry on items, including laptop and notebook computers, should be stored in the overhead compartment or underneath the seat in front of you. All exits, arms, and bucket areas must be clear of any items. Thank you for your attention.
flight me um, oriental braised beef so this is the only meal that I order this is not like uh, Singapore Airlines that you can request for different dishes uh, this one is a budget airline so it's different
I think this is the old. It still looked like this last time. Gentlemen, for parents traveling with children, please ensure they are seated down well with the seatbelt fastened for their own safety. Thank you. So far, it's okay. The flight is just fine for a three-hour flight. Although the legroom is very, you know, it's not that comfortable, but they have a very good service. The crew are very uh, attentive to the passengers, but my only concern is their legroom. But well, if you want to have a Bigger legroom, you can choose the emergency exit, the seats near the emergency exit. But the food is also good. Yeah, so far it's just fine. But nothing can beat Singapore Airlines. I mean, my experience with Singapore Airlines. So, guys, that's all for my vlog. Don't forget to subscribe, rub the solo traveler in YouTube. Have a great day. Bye bye.